This is a motherfucker who, it, it's the fact, he, not just getting, he said fighting, fighting was a big part of his, you know what I'm saying, his reason for why, why, you know, gangs were bad. That was what the gangs were doing. They were fighting. And Tyrus essentially makes his whole fucking life, his career off Fox News and fighting. This man, like, I thought the NWA didn't exist no more. I only know that it's, that it, I guess, came back because of Tyrus. Because of him being on Fox News. So, I would like to to say, I didn't even realize how, how much stupider this was than I already thought, right? But it is so much worse. Tyrus is a fucking grown man who has made a career of stage fighting and choreographed fighting in a ring with a, a showmanship spectacle to it. Tyrus is also like the opposite of a wigger. You can Wikipedia this. He did the Michael Jackson with the skin bleach treatments. Excuse me, right? Michael Jackson has skin disorder. He had a skin disorder. But he basically was trying to, it says on his Wikipedia, was obsessed with trying to become white. Okay, I might identify, well, with him it's not about identifying as white. It's the fact that when he was, I guess, when he was born, his dad was black. And his grandma wouldn't let him live. Like, he had to be given up to uh, CPS or DCF, whichever one. Because his grandma wanted nothing to do with him. His mom lived at his grandma's house because he was black. So he felt if he could just get his skin light enough, he became, like, it even says, obsessed with it. And, and the, the thing is that's weird is a lot of the, the characters he's been, you know, especially in the developmental stages where usually the uh, promotion retains a level of creative control. A lot of his gimmicks were uh, extra, like, black gimmicks. Like, one of his first gimmicks was a gangster. So, it's almost like I could see, like, people in, like, FCW or whatever promotional league he was in, like, really setting his character up, using creative control to trigger him. Um, so, I, I felt, like, sort of bad for him at some point. But when he said that shit, bro, that's like when I hear people saying, lock people up for drugs for life. Like, everybody selling drugs is, like, like the way my pops think about it, bro. Cause he's from the old country. He literally will, will, says shit like they should be locked up for life. And I said, and he's like, they're killing people. I said, that's not their goal. They're not Jeffrey Dahmer. They're not selling drugs. Like, I hope I kill somebody. You know what? Multiple people asked me when I was in prison. Cause fentanyl as its own substance in a way that wasn't smoking it off the fentanyl patches. Or the lollipops had be like fentanyl as they had become it had started to become its own thing where like the, the fiends wouldn't get high off the dope so they wanted the fentanyl. And I had multiple young men, mainly black men, it was a couple of Hispanics. I don't think a white man ever asked me about it. No no, a white Puerto Rican did, uh, from the solids. I I think I might have a white boy who either knew about it or or Asked my opinion on it if, if I thought what he said that was correct because we we're still trying to figure it out at this time. This at this point, 85% of Connecticut or the U.S. dope supply had some level of fentanyl. In it. Yeah, basically the most common question asked about fentanyl, well, about drugs in general, was about fentanyl because people knew I was very knowledgeable of drugs despite having a drug score of a one. You feel me? People knew I knew a lot about a lot of drugs. I knew the shit about drugs these motherfuckers had never even heard of. I knew the shit about drugs that wasn't even drugs. So, whatever they wanted to know, something about, like, the, like especially the big money guys who was playing on making moves when they got back to the block, when they EOS the shit, when they, you know, got out the halfway, when per, they knew parole was straight or whatever, or they wasn't on a monitor or whatever the fuck, right? Whatever the, 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 the stipulation was, like, they were just EOS and whatever, we'll just say. Um, they were, like, I had at least seven or eight people during my time 
in, in this 90 person dorm that turned over multiple times during my stay there um asked me the exact same shit in three at nine they had that's what we called it 3b was called well three dorm in general was three at nine we had the black tags on our IDs. motherfuckers was all violent offenders and all motherfuckers there for guns and shit, murders, all that. Anything violent, I think that's why the tags is black. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, so anyways, the most common question these people had, even people who wasn't in my dorm asked me this. How, like I said, it's the fact of how you have to cut it. You would really have to step on that shit. Cause people kept asking me, how can we sell the fentanyl just as fentanyl? You feel what I'm saying? I would explain it just like this. I'd be like, you would really like, not even have to step on it. You would really have to like tap dance your ass on that bitch, man. Like for real, you would really have to sit there and like add like quinine, all type of other shit. And, and probably have to cook it. Because like at the time, I was I didn't really understand how that shit was being manufactured. I sort of have a idea about that, but I knew you really was going to have to stretch it and, and step on it and basically beyond step on it to a point where, like, it's, I would, I would just, from all the cuts, not want to take that shit before you even had the factor in of it as a deadly substance. Like, just that amount of cuts without that, I would be like, nah, I'm, why would I snort that? <laughs> you feel me? Like, why would I ever use something like that? That sounds like, no matter what the high it give me, even if that shit is, like, better than crack and lasts longer than meth, like, I would not want to, I would not want to be on that shit, <laughs> like, just because of what is that going to do to my body, sniffing all that shit, like, all them inactive cuts, what is that doing to my lungs, like, no, <laughs> I don't care if that's, like, the most fire cane you ever seen in your life when you add all them active and inactive cuts, you add 2CB to it and whatever, if you just had 2CB and some other shit in a pill, okay, maybe I'll do that shit, but like, you feel what I'm saying, so, I, the most common question was, how could we get the fentanyl able to be sold without people falling out, essentially, I had to add that in, wasn't like it is now, um, I don't know what the current stats is, but I know now, it has to be higher just by, by the amount of fentanyl related overdose that happened, like, Back when I used dope, you could still get that black and tan shit. Back when I sold dope, like really sold dope, which was way before I ever used it, you could really find that that Coca-Cola looking shit. Um, you know, at some point when I was on dope, uh, not really, I don't really put like on dope, but when I was using dope here and there, um, recreationally, it was like almost like it, it came a point where. It just all started being the color of sand. And it kept getting lighter and lighter. And like, this was like well after the, the whole like China White made the news. Like back in like 08 or some shit. Like when people started first seeing like the, the real fentanyl laced heroin in mass. Um, so I, I put it like this. Tyrus, with what he said, was crazy. That was crazy. You want to uh, uh, hold people, parents accountable for what they might not know their kid is doing. And that if you is a parent who's not involved in that, you are definitely going to try to not know. Because that way, if you get raided, you have, you have a level of, you know what I'm saying, you are not getting part of that indictment because you don't know shit about what that kid was doing. You see what I'm saying? There's no way they can do that shit. Boozy always talk about with the name that I'm not sure how to spell, so I haven't been able to look up specific details of the case. But that motherfucker who they, the feds went and got his mom or something because she knew what he was doing and said, well, we're going to hold her as an accessory unless you tell. You know what I'm saying? I would never, if I thought my kid joined the gang, I would not ask him if he did. I would literally just say, if you join the gang, don't tell me you joined the gang. Don't tell me about shit you're doing with the gang. Don't do shit out of this house with the gang. I don't want to know nothing about the gang. You feel me? Like, that's exactly how I would say it. Because I would I would purposely do it like that. You know, parents, there come a point where, like, the kid off the porch. Whatever he doing out there, that's his business. So when he said that shit, that shit, I get it. There's a detachment because he grew up in group homes. I get it. 
I don't have that same detachment because I didn't grow up completely like that. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like I, I, he was there for different reasons. Like, I was there for, for adjudicated yeah. issues. He was there because his parents didn't want him because he wasn't white. So he became obsessed with trying to become white and, and going to, like, it literally says he went to, like, extreme lengths of, like, skin bleaching and shit. You read this on his Wikipedia. I'm not trying to just go in on Tyrus, but it's like, when you say dumb shit like that, like, no, no, no. We, we were just getting to a point where there was some reasonable sentences for like what, what they should have been like. The shit that you would get 10, 10 years for, 15 years for, years ago, that was like, what the heck? That shit was finally getting fixed. All the shit that was like victimless crimes, all the consequences for that were, were starting to become accurate. We're not going to go backwards on this. I don't care about violence or whatever. Fighting is not murder. Honestly, it does some good for the soul. It is not murder. Like, it is not the the, the worst thing you could do to somebody is, is fight them. You know what I'm saying? It's not the worst thing you could do to somebody. Honestly, I think it's worse if someone try to fight you and you don't defend yourself. I knew people, I knew people, I'm not going to say if it was me or not, but I know, I know a few people who, like, yeah, they was trying to rob you or they was trying to fight you and, and you wasn't trying to fight back, motherfuckers would, would go to an extra level with you. Like, you would get it worse because you, you wasn't trying to fight back. So, like, I put it like this, man. Like, what, what Tyrus done said about all that shit, when you have a career that is based off fighting, whether it's choreographed or not, and you grew up in group homes. You grew up without parents. So who the fuck is you to tell some motherfucker how to punish parents when you grew up without parents? I ain't know my real mom till literally a couple fucking years ago when COVID-19 happened. But, and, and for the three, four years I was in group homes as a teenager, but I still had my adopted parents. You feel what I'm saying? You can't, I, like, that's like, how you gonna hold my dad accountable who never involved himself in none of the bullshit I did? Never involved himself in it. He might have had his own bullshit going on at times or not, but he never, I never involved him in that purposefully. And keep in mind, I robbed people right in front of my mom. I did, I did crazy shit right in front of my parents. Like, they didn't know I had done it when I did it. Like, and I had done some shit, like, right in front of people know about it. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to create a, a, a reasonable expectation of what's going to be allowed. Like, kids fighting, when we have shootings going on, as long as they don't come back with a gun, that's progress. Kids fighting is progress. As long as nobody dies and they don't come back with a gun, and they, don't, they take their L if they lose, whoever loses, that's progress. That's the type of shit that leads to, to you know what I'm saying, ceasefires and, and that, that decreases the type of ripple effects and butterfly effects and, 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 you know what I'm saying, generational beef that we have in this community. So, I mean, I just, I want to say it like this. I hate when people get up on the news and they start thinking they really is way bigger than they is and they got some type of, because they on TV, they think they got some type of idea that they that's right. Just because they're on TV. No, no. That shit was the most retarded thing I ever heard on cable television on Fox News. I have not heard nothing till that point where I can say, except for that, that one shit the blonde bitch said about the homeless people, right? I never got to a point like this, though. That, that I forgave that. This was like, I had to come back and really go in on it. Because it really pissed me off once I was like, wait. And you didn't even think about the fact this man is a pro wrestler with the belt on the fucking... While he's telling people to punish the kid's parents because the kid is in a gang and fighting. Fighting. When this man makes a fucking living off fighting, whether it's choreographed competition or not. God damn it. How, like, to see that, that, that type of stupidity, Fox, that... Put, that's like a CNN strike. Not for the same reason. You're not doing no fake shit. 
That's just stupid. What he said was stupid. I'm out this bitch, man. It should piss me off once I just realized, yo, this man is a pro wrestler. Who the fuck is you to be talking about fighting? And, and punishing people, let alone people's parents for some decisions that, unless their parents is making the same decisions, them, them not gonna be involved in them decisions. They're not gonna know nothing about that, most likely. My parents don't even know half of it. I'm out this bitch.